It's so terrifying. Totally out of control the whole time. You built a crazy death machine. <laughs> So, in the last video, we obtained a mini warthog by Zoinks from Walmart. And we got our hands on it pretty early thanks to the domain and the Halo Collector. We did some shenanigans, like going to the McDonald's drive-thru, going to the gas station, and even taking it through a car wash. But the real reason why we got one of these warthogs is to answer this question. How funny would it be to see Master Chief driving one of these things 50 miles an hour? Just pew! Well, today we're finding out. Today we will be putting a gas engine inside this mini warthog from Walmart to turn it from a kid's toy into a... <laughs> not, not a kid's toy. <laughs> now, the key thing with this project is once we're done, I still want this Warthog to look like it almost came right out of the box. Same size and everything, except it can go <laughs> really, really fast. I'm about, wait, Hugh Moran, what the heck are you doing in my video? You've got to get the B-roll of the Warthog, and I just happen to have a Warthog. Oh yeah, thanks. I got you, baby. I found this little go-kart here. It's got an engine on there. This might be a perfect start for our build. This little go-kart was a little bit sketchy, oh, God. Oh, oh, God. but it was pretty close to what I needed for this project. Oh, God. Oh. So I bought it. I think this will do. Oh my gosh, what have I done? And it just so happened that my friend Walt Terrific was coming through town. Would you like to be my test dummy? Yeah. There are worse ways to make a fool of myself, but this would be a good one. Oh, dude, you look so funny in this. All right, let me know. Don't kill yourself. Wow. Oh my god. I think that's about as far as I can push this for it wants to flip. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as fast as I thought, about as fun as I thought. It needs to be drifted. The top speed of this go-kart, as is, is only 25 miles per hour. It needs more power. Faster will make it, Walter, don't you worry. So what you're saying is this is a good idea. Yeah, yeah, do it. Let's start with modifying the frame. We need to make this go-kart much smaller to match the wheelbase of the Mini Warthog. To do that, I need to remove four inches from each axle and move those axles closer together by roughly six inches. Stop Modifying the front was relatively straightforward, but the back required a new axle entirely. I'm a What did you bring? Dude, this is so cool. You're taking like three feet out of this. And also the, the frame is actually really, really thin, so. Well, it's probably the strongest thing on this. <laughs> Since I know nothing about go-kart engines, I brought my contraption to Chris Rollins to help mod the engine and make it arguably way too fast. I think we need to add 40, 50 miles an hour to the top speed. <laughs> me too, me too. Up the risk, up the fun. But first. <laughs> Feel it in the thigh. Oh yeah. I think I might have just made a death trap. A fun death trap. How's your life insurance policy? Now that we got the engine really hot, let's go touch it. Yeah. <laughs> and so we got to work doing some up engine things. I don't know, Chris, explain what we're doing, I guess. We've rejetted the car. Put on a higher flow intake. We took the governor off. Have a torque converter. Now a high flow exhaust. Minimum, we're going to double the speed, I think. Thank you, Chris. And after I did some sketchy welding on some places I probably shouldn't have been welding. Why are we friends? The new and improved engine was ready to test. Got it. Yeah? Oh my god! <laughs> this thing is so scary. But before we do any real testing, we should probably add some sort of seat, right? We got a piece of wood duct taped as the seat, just for uh. Yeah. Oh, well, that's convenient. Oh, okay. and we probably got 50, 55. Good lord. It is so sketchy. The steering needs a lot of work. If you get the steering sorted out, it'll be no problem. And after some more shenanigans. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Might have pulled my grind. It's an off-road beat. <laughs> my next step is to start modifying the original plastic mini warthog. I think I've done about all I can do without tearing this thing apart. And so I used a grinder to violently remove the inside of the mini warthog, leaving only the beautiful outside. Holy crap, this is looking pretty good. <laughs> and after the shell fit just right, I welded up some supports on top of our frame to support our warthog shell. Okay, so it looks like we've run into a little problem here. The 
axle is bent. I had to drill a quarter inch hole to attach the sprocket. Maybe just taking that little bit of material out of a very solid piece probably made it not very sturdy. <laughs> I think for now we're gonna send it. All right, anyway, it's time to work on the finishing touches. After months of work, we are finally finished. Today, I happily introduce to you our gas-powered Mini Warthog. And this video is just getting started. Wow! wow. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing original on that is the cover. <laughs> this is the best thing you have ever that our build's complete, it's time to take it to the track to really test it out with the one and only Master Chief. But before we do that, a huge shout out to our friends at SolidWorks for sponsoring this video and making this video happen. SolidWorks, thank you so much, you're the best. As you know, I've been using SolidWorks for many, many years to bring my designs to life, both as an engineer and as a maker. I learned how to 3D model on SolidWorks back in college and I used it in industry. And now that I'm doing YouTube, I still use SolidWorks. But the industry version of this software has always kind of been outside of my price range. I mean, I get it. Excellence is expensive, but now it doesn't have to be. SolidWorks has repackage their industry leading software into an offer for makers like you and me. This offer is called 3D Experience SolidWorks for Makers. This software delivers top of the line design tools for your hobbies and personal projects. Online tools for designing, fabricating, rendering, and more. For just $9.99 a month, you'll get everything you need to create anything that you can imagine. So if you're a builder and you want to get into 3D modeling, 3D Experience SolidWorks for Makers is right for you. With 3D Experience SolidWorks for Makers, the only thing that is limiting you now is your imagination. So check out the link in my description to get 20% off 3D Experience SolidWorks for Makers. Thanks again to our friends and longtime sponsor of this channel, SolidWorks, for sponsoring this video and sponsoring this project. All right, to the track. Okay, so now is the testing phase. We're here at GRP Speedway in Tulsa. We have the Mini Warthog, we have Chief, we have Ryan, and we're gonna test this thing out today to see if my welds were good, if it doesn't fall right, apart. Right, but if enough. his welds do fail, we got helmets, so yes. here you go, Brad. And waivers. Do you guys, yeah, I feel like we have to come up with some sort of name for this thing. Like, uh, Death Trap, or uh, This Guy's Welding Sucks, or something like that. If you have a funny name for the Mini Warhog, just let me know in the comments. All metal frame, completely fab. You saw the build process. We have a four-wheeler battery in here that allows us to do some really fun things. So coming around back, the first thing that you'll notice is that there are some working lights. We got running lights, and we have brake lights. Come on, baby. We now have the fuel tank in the front, and that brings us to my favorite part, as I just kind of gave it away. Don't ask me why there's a point, but there's there's a horn, so it's really loud. <laughs> it's really aggressive and really loud. We have a pair of working headlights. I mean, come on. How good does that get? I added a actual Oklahoma license plate. It's not real. It's fake. I got it on Etsy. So, um, but it's cool. It looks real. And to commemorate the awesomeness of this build, we just released a vintage style racing shirt featuring our new gas powered mini warthog. And I absolutely love the design. And because Christmas is right around the corner, our new 2022 Christmas sweaters just dropped today, only on impactpropshop.com. I'm a little nervous, man, not gonna lie. <laughs> I wanna try to lean in the turns and not flip over. I'm very excited about this warthog. Uh, put a lot of time into this thing. And now it's time to see if it was worth it. <laughs> okay, let's test this thing out. Chief. I think it's your turn, buddy. <laughs>
this thing's dangerous. <laughs> what happened? I didn't even know. Like I, I did the wheelie and then it went. So all of a sudden it veered off towards this. You came off and did like a slow motion somersault thing and then the cart ran into you. Let's review the footage. <laughs> Something grabbed and then just completely turned me in the wrong direction. It's because this one off center is lower oh, than the one on the left. That's new. That This is new. Oh, because you didn't use lock nuts, silly Billy. There's no lock nuts. It's just put a titanium. That's already. I am so freaking smart. I'm Sorry. really glad you were going two miles an hour, not 10,000. I feel like this will be safer on dirt. All the weight is on the back axle. So there's like, there's no drifting that you're going to flip. Look what you did in my helmet. I'm sorry. Glad you weren't driving for any of that, Chief. All right, it has been a pretty wild ride to get to where we are. We got to kind of test it out a little bit on a track. It's very dangerous, very death trappy, but very fun. Super dangerous. It's, it's super dangerous. It's very dangerous. But this isn't where this project stops. This is where it begins. I think next we need to do a speed test. Also putting PVC on these wheels to turn it into a drift mini Warthog, I think would be pretty dope. And finally, we need to take the mini Warthog off-roading. So if you want to see those things, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed. And also let me know in the comments what, what you would name this thing if this was yours, because I'm, I'm out of ideas. So thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go get my leg checked out. So, you are my, <laughs> you are my best friend forever.